night I filmed my um, video of showing you what was in this particular sewing box. Um, I also have taken some screenshots and bits and bobs of things that I were looking for when I looked through sewing boxes and things that I looked to pick up sewing related. So I hope you enjoy it um, and I'll speak to you again in a little while. So I thought I'd take out one drawer at a time and have a look what's inside it. I've just got this tray, lovely tray with copper corners. Don't know if you can see that there. Beautiful lovely tray. But I'm going to use it to put the things on and let's have a look through. So, first drawer, let's see what's inside. So I genuinely, until I've just scooped it out, I haven't looked in here. So what I'm really looking for is old vintage cotton bobbins, um, anything vintagey that I can sell. Um, but at first glance, I'm not seeing a lot. <laughs> um, okay, so let's have a little delve in. There are a few thimbles. So let's put them over here. One, two. I mean, how many thimbles does a person need? Can you see that still? Just let me move that over a little bit. So four thimbles so far. There's some of this uh, chalk, you know, for writing, drawing on material. Um, I think that's just going to go in the bin. There's a little suction cup, again, bin, and again, bin. Now, who recognises these? This is what ends up in old sewing boxes. It's not always to do with sewing, is it? Jacks, these are called, aren't they? There's the ball. Oh, really, that's not got much of a bounce to it, so maybe that's not the ball. No, I can't imagine that I'm going to be able to sell these either. What I might do is just put a collection of things together to sell as a job lot. Who knows? If I can be bothered, I'll put those there. Oh, another thimble. So that's five thimbles. Then we've got some old buttons, pretty little silver one. What's this? Some sort of medal, like a religious medal. Um, I don't know that, I'm not, not being religious, I don't know what that is. Is that like a St. Christopher or something? Don't know. Oh, there's a pretty button. Look at that one. You see that one? That's pretty. I've got a pot where I collect buttons and when I get to a certain amount I either hand them on to people that I know that like sewing. There's another little pretty black button. It's a cloth, oh no it's not. I thought it was a cloth covered one but it's just a pl plastic one made to look like it's cloth covered. And then there's a couple more in plastic, a couple of red ones and a pinky sort of one. So they'll go in my button box. We've got some it's like a clasp. There we go. Not quite sure what I could use that for. Not a lot of use, I don't think. Oh, here we go. A good luck shoe haul. Uh, shoe haul. Horseshoe, I can speak. So this sort of thing I could maybe collect and give to people who make cards. Maybe like Ashley or somebody. I could send her a little parcel of things she could use to add to her birthday cards and things so I will start a little pile oh another little thimble pink plastic one a little bit of velcro bin I think <laughs> some beads uh, pinks and silvers again that's perfect for card making I guess so that could go in that pile and then I've got some ribbon some Queen Silver Jubilee, so vintage ribbon. I wonder if I could sell that. There are two lots of that. Wonder who'd want that. That will go in my maybe selling pile. A very big dice, but with numbers rather than dots. That could go in my job lot of strange bits of wonderment. Oh, an odd earring. Um Unless I find a pair, I'm going to be too honest, it's not in that nice condition. So that will probably just go in a rubbish pile. This plastic ball that's got no bounce to it, go in the rubbish pile. Some sort of plastic 
cover again, rubbish pile, a little sequin. <laughs> My card making, look, you can't throw anything away. Then there's various key ring things. I wonder if crafters want these. Maybe I can put that with the crafters pile. There's another key ring attachment. Oh, and I think that one is as well. So that can go in that pile. Very big needles. What are these for then? Is this for knitting or something? I don't know. I don't do knitting and I've only just started crochet and not getting on with it. But there's another one, like a smaller version. Can you see? It's got a small, funny little bend at the end. I need to ask advice for that. So that'll go in my give to friends and family who do this kind of thing. A few more buttons to go in my pile of buttons. Oops. Not very exciting ones. Elastic band can go in a bin. Another needle can go over there. A little bit of tapestry wool and a nice peachy colour. Again, that will go in the pile to go to my friends or family. A couple of packets of matches. Um, I'll probably just use them <laughs> rather than throw them away. Odd bit of wool, that can go in the bin. A very rusty little safety pin. We're not finding very many exciting things here now, are we? Oh, a little white bird. See, that's the sort of thing I'll add to my crafting pile. It's got a little metal bit. I wonder if it's magnetic. Um, I wonder if that's off a game or something. Anybody recognise it? Anyway, that will go in my crafting pile. And a little plastic bead. That can go in the bin. Tiny little padlock but I haven't got a key for it unless it turns up later um, again I think crafting pile put it over there wow what is this any ideas I have no idea what this is nope not a clue right I need answers in the comments please what is this we'll add that to our what is this pile with those funny needles actually. There my what what is this pile? My tiny little crochet needle. That I would probably keep. Because <laughs> I'm just starting crochet. Little bit of plastic sort of grid. And that'll go in the bin. Um some oh this is elastic. It's really boing 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 boing. Um can't see me using it so that will go to some sort of crafty friend oh look silver very fancy you see that I might keep because that's ideal for like you know when you want to string Christmas decorations yeah that's a keep I think okay what's this it's uh, nail clippers and what does it say on the top Calborn Watermill and Rural Museum. Okay, can't see me finding a person that really wants this nail clippers, but I'll put it in my random selection of things. Oh, here we go. Here's another, what is this? What is this, anybody? So it's got this metal bit here, plastic insert, doesn't seem to slide out or anything open at this end and then it says clover 18 on the front there right okay that's adding to my i have no idea somebody help me out pile a very big needle will go to my crafty friends pile a magnet i'm going to keep the magnet because i've lost mine and we could all do with a magnet so that's going there and the little pin can go in the bin as can the drawing pin. A couple of safety pins I'll probably add to my useful pile for friends. Oh, a key. A little key, but I think that's going to be too big for that. Yeah, that's more like a jewellery box key. And I've got a little tin or a bowl that I keep keys and I sell them as job lots. So that will go in my key pile. Um, that did we decide what that was i think that will just go in my random selection pile oh these are pretty 
Can you see them? They're like little flower, not buttons, they're almost like little pendants because the, the whole bit is at the top. Can you see that? Aren't they cute? So do I put those with buttons? No, I just put those with a crafting one, I think. Random bit of metal, go in the bin. A chain, it's bound to be silver or gold, isn't it? No, it's not gonna be either. It's some sort of rusty metal. So I think that can go in the bin. Right, I've got another little bit of metal. Here we've got some little charms. I am the Lord. Oh, I see. So this has got number one. So these are like, I think, the Ten Commandments, little charms. But there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've lost three. Um, and they're not silver, they're just white metal. So again, I think they can go in my crafting lot. There we go. And then finally, a little metal ruler. So that was the first draw. Mm, nothing too exciting, was there? Right, we're on to the next compartment down. Sorry about the light, but it is night time, so I'm not going to use the light to show anything at all. Okay, so let's have a look what's here. So we've got some more buttons. They're pretty. Never, like, they've obviously bought these to do a craft project or a sewing project and not use them. So they'll go with my buttons. Here's a nice one, military style button. And some more. Oh, that one matches the one we found earlier. I do love buttons. When I was little, my mum had a button tin. I think everybody's mum had a button tin, didn't they? And I used to just like rummaging through the buttons. There we go. So these are all added to my button pile. What's this? A little gold heart. Is it a locket? Oh, it's a locket. Oh, look. A little tiny locket. Um, it's not gold, it's just a... So maybe that can go in my crafting pile. A little silk sort of flower. Again, that can go with the craft pile. Another little horseshoe, another button, some glitter, green glitter, that can go with the craft pile, a marble, go with my random selection, an old rubber, that can go in the bin. No idea what that is, any ideas? Okay, so I'm adding this to my no idea pile. Oh, here's another thing with no idea. It's got le no numbers on it and they turn. Can you see? But they sort of curve inwards, so I can't, they wouldn't be like for printing or anything. Can you see that? What is that? That'll go on my no idea pile. A little wooden dice, but it's kind of broken, so that can go in the bin. Ooh. Again, there's lots of no ideas here. So it's got a little bulbous bit at the end here and then a hoop there. Wow, my no idea pile is getting very big. So this one's marked Singer, so the makers of the sewing machines. I guess it's for marking out something. I had something like this, but it was much more lethal. I had the, and it was for leather, for marking out leather. But uh, I wonder what this is for. Again, that will go in my no idea pile. A crochet hook. I shouldn't have bothered buying one, should I? A nail file. Ah, this is interesting. A little coffin with an Egyptian mummy inside. And this is obviously magnetic. Oops. Because something has to go the other side. Yeah, it's magnetic. Hmm, interesting. Some poppers. A little bit of cotton sort of material. A cotton or thread. Again, some more thread. 
Oh, here we go. Another mystery. Wow, we're really getting the mystery. I mean, it's broken. I think that'll just go in the broken pile. Some more needles in an old fashioned needle set. Um, if I got enough decent um, sewing stuff, I would put a collection together, maybe in a little box. I've done it before. I'll show you if I get around to it. Um, put all the lots of little bits together and sell it as a as a little sewing kit. So that might keep there, but I'll put it with the random selection there. Some more of these blue plastic things. So, oh no, yeah, here we go. New crochet sizes. Ah, so this must be for sizing your wool or your needles. Crochet hooks, who knows. And then this. A couple of, a big needle. Another button. Oh, a photograph. Looks like a temple and then there's some people outside. Can you see that? I just put that in the random selection or with the crafting stuff who knows woman and home pack of special needles ah there's only two left for beading they've used the leather and the tapestry one there's just the beading ones left some little hook and eyes oh a little christmas stamp you know, like an ink stamp that you could use. So obviously that will go in my craft pile. Now, no idea what about you. It's just a plastic thing. Oh, Jet Air New Zealand, it says on the back. I thought that looked sort of New Zealandish, the front here. But um, maybe it was like a giveaway from Jet Air. I assume that's a airline. I wonder if that's worth anything. Could be a, worth loads of money. Actually, I'll put that in my random collection pile. Then we've got this. I think this is something to do with knitting or crocheting. Oh, little metal. Okay, so this is like a copper back and then enamel front. Unfortunately, it looks a bit chipped just here. But lovely greens and blues. I wonder if it would have been a necklace or like just a on a bag or something maybe. Hmm, random collect. Oh, wow, what the hell is this? Okay, so we've got a bit of plastic grooves so you can hold on, I guess. A little tiny brush at this side and a rollery kind of a brush. Well, it doesn't roll, the shape roller. And maybe cleaning your sewing machine? It's going in my random collection of non, non unknowns. Oh, some cute little pink hearts. Again, I think these are for crafting rather than buttons. So they'll go in my crafting pile. And finally, from this section, made in Canada. It's a little pin badge. Um, I can't read what that says, if it says anything at all. No, I'm not sure. Pin badge will go in my random collection. Right, next section. Right, this was the bottom section, which was the biggest. Um, I've still got two more on the other side to do. But um, this was what's in there, a random collection, I can assure you. So we've got a few of these key rings. I'm guessing that they were making crafting or making key rings. So... That will go in the crafting pile. Some bits of wool and nylon. I guess that's for darning. You can tell I'm a crafter. These, that's for hanging up plates. It's one of those spring things that you put around your plates, which basically ruin plates. <laughs> so don't do it. So that can go in the bin. Um, oh, some elastic. Handy. Soft edge folded bias binding. Um, I'm sure you sewers will know what that is. Oh, spare bottom. Is it going to be a nice one? Marks and Spencers. Oh, it's a very uninteresting little pewter sort of tiny button. So we'll put that in there. A little ring. 
some more of these key rings. So I was saying what I really would have liked to find is some old bobbins and some interesting needle cases and things like that. Um, you always get a random collection. It's almost like where people dump stuff. Um, but so far, there's nothing really of any excitement. But I will make my money on the sewing box anyway. Here we go. So the lower key rings. Some pink cotton. A bit of metal. I'm assuming that that's uh, from a sewing machine or something. I'll go in the bin. Oh, a pebble. They obviously found a pebble and thought it was special enough to keep. Um, what do I do with it? Oh, I hate throwing things away. Um, some earring backs. Yeah. I will put those with my, with my jewellery downstairs. Music button. Oh my word, do we get twinkle twinkle little star? Do you think it still works? <whistles> yep, it still works. <laughs> okay, that can go with my random. So let's hope it finishes soon. Some tiny little beads and a gorgeous little pewter colour. So they'll go with my crafting stuff. A rose badge, um, in pit, no, arthritis research campaign. Maybe with the crafting things. Oh, a little bangle. Should we put it on? There we go. Um, remember what these are for. Mind you, it's in, why would you use a silver pen? You'd think you'd just use a normal pencil rather than a silver pencil, but hey. Maybe the lead is normal, it just looks silver in this light. Um, is it a vintage one? I can't see a make on it. Made in England, so yes, it's a vintage one. Not that that makes it valuable. Another one of these, that can go in the bin. Little plastic ruler. Oh, what's this? It's like a tiny little chisel. What does it say on it? Nothing. Wooden handle, a little bit rusty. But yeah, like a tiny little chisel. That's like one of those drawing pencils. What does it say? Jones dressmaking pencil. Oh, what's this? It's wooden. Royal Canadian Mounted Police. It was obviously glued onto something and it's come off. And maybe that can go with the crafting pile. This is strange, it's like a plastic, plastic coated material. I thought it was a ribbon to start with, but I think it's just the end of a bit of material. Oh, somebody's quilting project. I mean, the material, the patterns on these are very 60s, aren't they? 60s, 70s, this material. You see that? Hmm, don't think I can really find a home for that. Um, okay, no idea. Looks like the lid to something, but then there's these bits here. No idea. And this feels like an emery board, like a nail file. Strange. Some more wool for reinforcing and mending. Another little bit here. Some bits of ribbon, so lacy ribbon and red ribbon. Oh, what's this? They obviously photocopied from the Brantford Expos Expositor Deaths. Louise 
Please formally edge at the Hamilton General Hospital on Saturday, December 23rd, 1989, in her 82nd year. Louise Butler, beloved wife of Kenneth Butler and the late Roy Edge, dear mother of Mrs. Daniel Elizabeth Thomas. Aww. Mrs. Butler was a member of the Royal Canadian Legion for 20 years. Wow. What does that just say? Loving grandmother of 45 grandchildren and 19 grand great grandchildren. Wow. Imagine having 45 grandchildren. That's some going. Wow. You see, things like that, what do we do with it? It goes in recycling, but it just seems so sad to do that. Okay, so we've got a couple of these little things, you see? And inside, tiniest little hook. I don't even know if you'll be able to see that. That is the incy wincyest little hook on there. And then this one's slightly bigger hook. Oh, and it's got a funny little catch on it. Can you see that? Right, these are going in my I have no idea pile, so you can tell me. And then we've got a rather vicious looking scalpel blade which I could have quite easily cut my hand on. Uh, something Norian or something Warian. No, can't read what that says. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to put that somewhere safe. A little bit more elastic. Some more hook and eyes. Um, oh! eyes look obviously a craft project making an animal with the backs of the eyes and they're the eyes so a craft project and then some strange sort of ruler things and what does it say sewing gauge ideal for marking seam allowance oh i mean i don't know how it works but i guess that slides up and down no no, maybe I'm not doing it right. Well, there you go. If any of you need a sewing gauge, let me know. Okay, and a little pencil. Should we see what's in the next cupboard? In the next section? There we go. Wow. Bobbins is what I'm looking for, but really what I wanted was the wooden ones. And I don't think any of these are wooden. And whoever this belonged to liked bright colours. Can you see? We've got these bright greens, red, sort of a very blood red and an orangey red. This bright orange, this bright blue, sort of cerise pink, yellow, another more burgundy red. This love, I mean, that's turquoise, it's Lamella favourite colour. And then various blues. Um, what I will probably do is donate these to a friend who likes sewing. There we go, another bright orange. Um, or my niece, who is doing a course down in Falmouth to do with fashion design. No, costume design. So I may well donate all of these to her, if she hasn't already got too many. And then there's just a few other things like Prestas, a little bit of cardboard and the odd needle little pack of needles there. Right, one little section left, we'll see what's there. Here we go. So we've got a little bit of material. Oh no, it's a, like a little pouch. Put my hand in there. I suppose I could find a few little bits to put in there to give to somebody. A couple of shoulder pads. If you need any shoulder pads for your 80s look. A bit more elastic. Two little things of elastic. Everything's all wound up together, so can I get that released? No, let's put that there in a minute. And is this elastic as well? No, that's just some silver cord or thread or whatever you want to call it. And then some thick black elastic. This purple stuff, stuff is the technical term, 
Um, I don't know what that's for. Any ideas? I don't think it's ribbon. I think it's something to do with hems. But hey, who am I to say? A couple of black buttons. What's in the bag? Some metal things, some big screws. Um, and some plastic discs. All sort of things you expect to find in a sewing box. One of these plastic, what does that say? Hospice care. A bit more elastic. Some more needles. These are fancy. These have got, these are from Broidery. Millard's needles. They almost look gold at the top, but you probably can't make that out. But they look silver and then with the gold tips. They look very nice. As nice as needles ever look. That's for darning, isn't it? You stretch your thing over there and you do your darning. And that's what I ask my mum to do. Because <laughs> I can't do it. Oh, and finally, here we go again. Louise Butler, formerly Edge. Was that the same? Yeah, that's the same, isn't it? It's exactly the same. It's the same one. So important, they photocopied it twice. Well, that's everything. So, what I'll do is I will show you what I would have liked to have found <laughs> by doing some screenshots of things that I've sold or that I've... Um, got for sale um, but also let's just bring back some of these mystery objects and you can tell me what they are so here we go i think that's it okay so these are the mystery objects that i need you to identify we've got the hook one with a sort of oh no you can't see what i'm showing you Hook one with a kind of bobbly, bobbly end. No idea. We've got this one with the plastic middle and then three, looks like three needle ends that side and two needle ends that side. And there's nothing printed on the plastic. So any ideas? We've got these two little roller things. I mean, that's got two zeros in there, but it doesn't seem to move. Oh, it does, hang on. If you twist this round, you get different numbers. But what's it for? Can you see that? And then this one has different numbers on it. Can you see that? No idea. Then you've got these two needles, which have got this shape. Uh, tips up. Can you see that? So I've got a bigger one and a smaller one, but they're both the same shape. And then I've got two of these with the plastic tops on. These really, really fine hooks. I've got this red and silver coloured thing, which says Clover 18 on it. Can you see? And it's got this goes backwards and forwards but it's not got any sort of tension to it so any ideas I've got this which says singer on it I'm sure this is obvious but uh, you can tell me anyway and then this which I'm assuming is for cleaning your sewing machine it's got a little brush on one end and a little fluffy rollery bit on the end right I'll get back to you tomorrow and show you some of my sales and things that I would have liked to have found in my sewing box. So here we go. These are things I look out for. Vintage bobbins. I got £25 for this set and then I got £22 for this set of 19 So you know that they're definitely worth looking for. These lace bobbins I got £15 for. Maybe could have got more to be honest. And I got £15 for these with the beads on as well. This is a little hair piece that you'd attach, which is all beaded. I got £10 for that. And I got £12 for this clasp. 
I told you I save up keys until I've got a bundle and I got £10 for this bundle of keys. Oh, this is gorgeous. Paper mache box to put your cotton reel in. It's a little hole that feeds through. I got £34 for that. This is a needle case. Abel Morell's needle case with all different sections. Really, really beautiful. Um, I had it on Etsy for 35 but I sold it in the shop and I think I took 28 for it. This sweet little leather case I sold on Etsy for £12. Now this came in a sewing box I think and it's a silver plated magnifying glass for 22 I sold that. And this is an aspirin case. Um, so these sort of tins and things you often find. Get likewise with this one. I got 10 for the aspirin case and 15 for that one. Material. I got um, eight pounds for a little off cut and that was a bed sheet that I got 12 pounds it had a little rip in it and then I told you I make up cases sometimes this one sold for 38 pounds hope you enjoyed that video if you've got any ideas on those mystery objects then do write it in the comments below I know it's a bit of a long one but I didn't know how else to edit it together um, take care stay safe and I'll see you soon Thank you.